Hi all, NASA and ISRO are planning to launch a state-of-art Earth observation satellite called NISAR and this NISAR satellite will be launched by GSLV MAC2 launch vehicle from Sriharikota. So in the NISAR update the satellite na enna abdin na NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar. So it is a earth observation imaging radar satellite which is placed in the sun synchronous orbit. So this sun synchronous orbit almost 750 km lande earth odiya detailed 2D and 3D maps since it is a radar more than imaging it is moving objects in the measure so in the radar mulama namakku r mukkiyamaana applications irukku appdinu nasa um isro um sollirukanga the first application is about the earth odi processes like landslide earthquake idoda changes measure panna porom second is about ecosystem adha the forest cover and forest density third one is about the snow and ice cap dynamics adha the namma polar regions la irukra ice evlo melt aagudhu appdinu adha paaka porom naalavathu indha mari ice melt aagrappo sea level rise aagum adanal coastal areas so coastal erosions and coastal surfaces changes Fifth one is about the disaster response and disaster management. One of the disasters struck on one, and the region level of damage has been measured. And last one is about agriculture. One area of gross area has been measured. What crops are in the crop density? If you have any changes, you can measure it. So, in the radar, the two wavelengths are going to function. One L band is long wavelength, S band is short wavelength. L band radar it will be operated by NASA and S band radar will be operated by ISRO. So, synthetic aperture radar is how the radar is working, how the map is working, the satellite is working, how the satellite is working, how the scientific explanation is detailed. 181st edition of 5 editorials of the week.